Yeah, we already discussed about third party business process. Now today we are going to uh, do the configuration activity. I already done the configuration. Uh, let me show you that. In during the intra uh, stock transfer, we already defined the uh, sales organization, distribution channel division, right? Do you remember? The same configuration we need to do in third part as well. Go to enterprise structure. Definition. And sales and distribution. Here, we need to go for define sales organization. Sorry, it's open. Go to define sales organization. Here, we need to define the entry for sales organization. See, these activities will be uh, configured by the HD people, not by MM people. For, for the sake of uh, process flow of this third party process, we need to configure this part as well in the test server. But in real time, this part will be configured by the HD people. The sales org uh, we created as DLS for Delphi sales organization. Okay. If you want to create it, just click on new entries and then you can put your sales organization. I always recommend to copy the existing sales organization and maintain the new entry. Okay. I already maintained DLS for as Delphi sales organization. This is the sales organization we define. Go back. And now we need to define distribution channel. Here it is. Click on execute and define distribution channel. Okay. Here uh, we define the distribution channel as D0 Delphi distribution channel. See? Go back. And then we need to define the division. For the division, you need to go for logistics general. And here you can see define copy delete check division. Click on execute. Define division. And here we already defined the division D4. Delphi division. Okay. So we define sales organization, distribution channel, and division. Now we are going to define the sales office. Close this logistic general. Here you can see the sales office under sales and distribution. Maintain sales office. And here we can select it and you can click on copy as and you can enter your sales office code already defined D S O F Delphi sales office. See, and it was created by MM user 50, it is our user ID, and you need to maintain the description Delphi sales office. Okay. And also we need to define the uh, sales group as well. Define sales group. Like uh, we define Delphi sales group. DSG, say Delphi sales group. If you want to enter it, click on new entries and you can enter the Delphi sales group. You can define it. Go back. And then now assignments. Till now we defined. Now we are going to do the assignment activity. Okay. Go to sales and distribution. Assign sales organization to company code. Where is our sales organization? D L S O is our sales organization. 
here. We need to assign our company code, DMOD, Delphi Motors is our company code. We are assigned it. And then we need to assign distribution channel to sales organization. What is our distribution? I mean, sales organization, DLS4, and distribution channel is D0. DLS4 and D0. If the entry is not available, you need to go to new entries and you can maintain your assignment. Okay. Don't worry, I, I already prepared the document for this configuration. I will share you that. And also we need to assign division to sales organization. What is our sales organization? TLS and division is D4. See, the entry is available. So you need to assign sales organization to division and then set up sales area sales organization distribution channel and division okay we already have an entry because i already defined it sales organization distribution channel and division this is called sales area setup okay this configuration will be done by completely by HD people, not, not any involvement of MM module. Okay. And then assign sales organization to distribution channel plant. Like we have two plants, right? So we can assign both the plants. The LS2 distribution channel plant one. Sales or distribution channel plan to. Okay. And then also we need to assign the sales office to sales area and sales group to sales office. See here what is our sales organization? DLS is our Delphi sales organization. It will be assigned to sales office. The sales area setup was assigned to sales office and also sales group is assigned to sales office. We already defined sales group and sales office. It needs to be assigned. DSOF, Delphi sales office. See, it was assigned to sales group. So the assignment for this completed. And also we need to do some other activity as well. Close this enterprise structure. Okay, completely. And now go to sales and distribution. Where is it? Yeah. Go to sales and distribution. And go to sales. And sales documents. Go to sales document header. And here we need to assign sales area to sales document okay can execute because we are creating a sale order right so for that purpose we have some uh, document types right here in sales order we have order types in purchase order we have document types and we uh and ub for the uh, interstock transfer like that here we have order types so we need to assign that order types here First of all, we need to combine sales organizations like here. We need to create one sales organization. Respect to that, we need to define one reference sales organization also. We can assign both the, both the codes will be same also. It's not a problem. I will show you that. DLS code is the sales organization and reference sales organization also the same. Okay. And similar to the distribution channel, the distribution channel is D0 and as a reference also be D0. See, distribution channel and reference distribution channel also is same. Or else you want to create a new, new one also, you can go with the new one. It's not a problem. And combine divisions. And 
Gibson is D4. You can see here D4. And also I taken reference also D4. If you want to assign new one, you want to uh, create a new one and if you want to assign it, you can do it. Okay. And we need to assign all these sales area, reference sales area setup to reference sales area setup to one order type. The standard order type is OR, like we have a standard document type NB. For sales order, it is OR. Okay. Let's take DLSO. See here, OR, DLSO, and D0 and D4 is the division, reference division, and it is assigned to standard order. You can see standard order OR. Okay. This is the assignments you need to do. Now, after that, we need to go for business area in enterprise structure only. It is available. First class. And go to enterprise structure and go to assignment. Go to sales and distribution. And here you can see business area account assignment open it and here we need to define rules by sales area DSO. here you need to assign rule as one okay here you can see business area determination from plant by division It needs to be assigned, and then you need to assign business area to plant and division. See, business area is table zero one is the standard. What is our plant? DP L one, DP plant one. DP L one, and the division is D not. I think the entry is not available here. Okay, let us do one thing. Let me copy the standard and let me do the necessary changes. PPL1. Division is D4. Business area is to be zero. Okay. Let me copy this and let me maintain for plan two as well. DPL two. Okay. So we assigned it to business area, and then assign business area by sales area. DL SO it is for external services. If you are using any external services, you can assign it here. I otherwise you not require. Now go back. the center structure and then go to sales and distribution here we need to go for basic functions and here go to pricing price control here define and assign pricing procedure okay we already have standard pricing procedure no need to define new one here you can see define pricing processor determination. Select it and click on choose. Here, what is our sales area? DL SO and distribution channel is D0 and division is D4. Enter. 
See, here we are saying the standard pricing procedure and standard condition. Okay, no need to change anything. Go back. Okay, now close these basic functions. It is very important steps from now onwards. Uh, please look carefully. Uh, here, sales right, sales documents, and go to sales document item. Here you can see define item categories. Okay, you can execute. Here for third party items, we have a standard item category is as. Okay, it is called as. Okay, select it and go to details. Here we need to select billing relevance as F. Okay, why? Because we are selecting billing relevance as F. We are earlier uh, we already uh, discussed about it. We have a without shipping notification and with shipping notification. We have a two types of process in third party process, right? If you select this billing relevance as F, it means if you do the vendor Miro in SAP system, then only the system is allowed to create a billing document for the customer. That is the control of it. Okay. We already discussed that we have a without shipping notification and with shipping notification process. Right. So in which shipping process, what happened? The vendor will send the shipping notification. Based on that, we will do the goods shipped. But system is considered as a dummy mic. It is the one, one process. And another process is without shipping notification, what happens is vendor will send an invoice to us. Based on that, we will create a billing document to the customer. Right. So here we are using this without shipping notification. That is the reason why we are maintaining the billing relevance as F so that the system is considered if the vendor is sends the invoice so if you enter the invoice in sap system then only the system is allow you to create a billing document for the customer that's the reason why we need to select billing relevance as f so that is the functionality of it order related to building doc started according to invoice quantity so whatever the invoice you have done for the uh, vendor, the respect to quantity will be copied to the, I mean, then the system is allowed you to create the billing document to the customer. Okay. Go back. And then we already completed item category. Now item category assignment. here assign item categories click on execute here we need to assign the task is the item category right that needs to be assigned here what is our sales document type order type or right we decided or and then what is the item category group as sorry not as for third party process item category group is bands okay let me show you that or and item category group is bands this is a standard configuration you do not need to change every time see here item category group has bands if you click on it you can see the what is the bands means bands is nothing but third party item see bands is Third party item. For that, the item category is as. Go back. So, this is the standard configuration. You no need to change anything. And then close this sales document. Go to billing. And here go to billing documents and maintain copying control for billing documents.
here copying control for sales document to building doc okay select first one and click on choose here we already have some standard configuration let me show you that what is our type it is f2 actually building type is f2 is used standard building type okay and sales document type is or this is for customer building okay it is for customer building select it and go to item what is our item third part item is task right select it and click on details here you can see building quantity is f is assigned okay it means if you assign the building quantity as f that means it will help to copy the quantity from myro i mean vendor invoice to the building document okay vendor uh, is uh, uh, send the goods of i mean you order something like uh, 100 quantity okay vendor is sending us uh, 50 quantity or something to the customer okay uh, vendor delivers the 50 quantity to the customer and vendor is sending the invoice to us like 50 quantity so that needs to be automatically copied to the customer building document right that is the reason why we need to assign it as f okay if we assign here as f then whatever the quantity you entered in invoice vendor invoice it will be copied to customer building document okay i will show you that during the process flow i will show you that go back now and also let me open the uh, present ppt as well for the third party process yes Give me a minute, okay? I'm, I'm opening the PowerPoint presentation. You can see right uh, the presentation. I mean the screenshot. Hello, are you able to see? Yeah, yes, yes. yes. Okay. See here we have two types of process. We already uh, discussed about it. One is without shipping notification, and another one is with shipping notification. So today we are doing the configuration for without shipping notification. So here, whenever the customer orders the company, I mean, sale order to the company, I mean, whenever we create a sale order in the SAP system based on the customer request. So then the system automatically create the purchase requisition in the backend system. And then based on that, we will create a purchase order to the vendor, but in vendor purchase order, the delivery address should be the customer. So then only the vendor will deliver to the customer. So the vendor is delivered to customer. And then the based on the vendor invoice, whenever the vendor sends the invoice to us, based on that, we will create a billing document to the customer. This is the process, right? So whenever we create a sales order to trigger the purchase requisition automatically, we need to do the configuration activity here. I will show you that. Okay. 
it is nothing but schedule lines close this building go to sales and here go to sales documents and then here you can see the schedule lines right click on schedule lines here define schedule line categories we already had standard schedule line category cs it is used for third party process click on details here we need to assign the purchase requisition document number so whenever we create a third uh, sale order to the third party item the system automatically creates a purchase requisition in the back end system see purchase requisition standard document are we assigned here and this item category is third party and account assignment category is third party okay now go back and we need to assign this cs to our item category okay schedule line category needs to be assigned to item category assign schedule line categories we already uh, discussed about it the item category is task so task is the item category and for this item category we need to assign the standard schedule line category so whenever the third party item is hit in sales order the respect item category is assigned automatically in sales order uh, line item level and based on that the schedule lines will be generated so the configuration activity was completed now if you want to do the process flow we need to have metal master data right so let me create one metal master data let's take mechanical engineering and Let's take one raw material, basic data one, basic data two, and sales organization data, and purchasing, and central plant one, and central plant by storage location two data, and accounting. Enter. What is our plant? DPL one, and storage location is D one one, and sales org DL S four. And distribution channel is D naught. Enter. Let's give some material name here. Let me take it as a third party item. Which and let's give uh, one metal group and some weight. I'm giving some random weight here. Space is data two. And here uh, you need to assign the division. Let's give the D4 is our Delphi division. And here tax information. Uh, let's take uh, let's give zero. No, no tax available from sales side. Okay, and go to sales organization to here item category. Okay, item category and general item category. You need to select as bands because it is a third party item, right? The system knows whenever you select the bands, it means it is a third party item. And item category group also is bands. Okay. You must select this and metal strategy group. Uh, Let's select a relevance for statistics. Let's select this one. A contestant is not necessary. And transportation group, the standard is triple zero. And loading group is also triple zero. And availability check. Daily requirements. And already, we already discussed, right? Transportation report is triple zero one is on pallets. Let's give it enter and purchasing group DPZ. No data is required for a storage location. Here we need to assign the valuation class. The valuation class is three thousand 
And let's say zoom, it's cost is 200. This is a material. Okay. So we created one third party material. Okay. Now we need to have a one window. I think we already had a what is the window? You can see MKB is it. Okay, we have one window uh, that is one double zero five six five. Is uh, Shashank is the window? Okay, we already had a window then. Let us create one customer now. To create the customer, the T code is XT01. Let's select account group. 0001 is the standard account group for sold to party, which is a customer account group. Let me select that sold to party. And here you need to give the company code, sales organization, distribution channel, and things. Okay. Enter. Let us create one customer. Like let's give Benfi customer for our party. As a party, let's give some sheet code and the fees and times. Oh, I think. Okay, uh, and we need to give, go to company code data. Here we need to give the reconciliation account. Let's take a trade domestic and go to sales area data. Go to shipping and here you need to give the shipping condition as zero one as soon as possible. I think it's uh, is enough. Click on save. Oh, it's asking the tax. Put as zero tax. Customer, one customer is created, one double zero, three doubles. It is our customer, okay? Now let us create a sale order. VJ01 is the T-code used to create the sales order. The order type is OR. And you need to maintain the sales organization, distribution channel, and division. And also if you want to maintain, uh, I can maintain the sales office as well. DSOF is our sales office and sales group is uh, DSG. Okay, I'll click on enter. What is our customer? It is our customer. And ship to party is also same. P word it. It is just a uh, purchase order number is not uh, like uh, our MM purchase order, okay? It is a customer purchase order. Customer is rising one order to the vendor, right? Vendor is nothing but a company. That just for reference, they will maintain some PO number here, okay? It will take whatever you enter, it will take, okay? Now, uh, here you need to give the material. 
it is the third part 800. So let me give here is material and quantities, let's say some thousand quantity. And plant is PPL1. And see item category automatically determines as task. See. Now, anything else you need to maintain? Click on edit and click on incompletion data. So it will check whatever data is missing in the sales order. It will show us. Then you can maintain that data. See the terms of payment and Ingo terms are missing. Inco times. Okay. Let's do some Inco times. We are bought. Okay, and let's go switch it on. So document is completed. Now click on save. 20206, right? So for display, VA03. I'm displaying it. See, whenever we create a sales order in system, if you go to item details, double click on an item, it will take you to item details. And here you can see the schedule lines tab. Here you can see the purchase requisition number. See, CS is a schedule line. Automatically, one purchase requisition was generated. So, for display of purchase requisition, ME53N is some purchase requisition. And also, we can create a purchase order also with reference to that purchase requisition. Okay. Okay. Now let me open the purchase requisition number. It is our purchase requisition. Here you can see uh, when our opens, you can see uh, the item category and account testament category will be assigned to the item. See, item category is S and account testament category is one. If you click on this, S means third party item. Account assignment category also, it is relevant for third party item. See, S is for third party item. And also, if you go to account assignment category also, it will show us third party account assignment category. See, one means third party. So now we need to Thank <laughs> you.